Hey everybody, Cousin Jim here. This is the second run of the day. We started to go out in my boat, but my port motor would not run over 1600 RPM. So we're going on, you remember Joe here from the, from the neighborhood. So we're on Joe's boat. It's his uh, Chaos Custom. It's a 30 foot boat. We're gonna go out and slay some fish. I got Arthur Nally over here. You've seen us all in the videos. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna ask any questions, hit me up in the comments. We're gonna go out and we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna show you what a good time you can have here fishing in the Florida Keys. All right, Captain Joe brought us out to one of his secret spots. It's called Mango Tango on his GPS. So that means we might catch some mangrove snappers here. He's cutting up silver sides for chum. We've got ballyhoo that he, he says the small ones there that I caught are not good bait. So he's just going to use mine for chum. And then he's got these really good ones that he just caught the other day that are almost like fresh frozen. He says those are better baits. So today he's going to fish his baits. I'm going to fish my baits. We're going to see what happens. All right, fish on. Jim's on. First one of the day. Here we go. I put down a butterfly ballyhoo on a jig head. Oh, mutton snapper. Here we go. Keep nice the mutton, mutton to start the day. <laughs> Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. All right. See his belly? Go. Something hit him. Something hit him on the way up. Something tried to eat him. All right. Start starting off, letting him go. There he goes. Joe's getting a bite there. Look at that rod tip. Fish is just gonna bend that rod in a second. It is so hard there. Oh, I thought that was it. There he is, Joe. Joe is on. Good job, buddy. Way to go. Oh yeah, we got him going. Got him coming. What is it, Joe? Might be the tarsus species. I think it's a saltwater species. Good job, Joe. What you got here? We're in 35. Oh, Joe, quick release. Way to go, Joe. We didn't want that one. Oh, another nice fish. Oh, Jim's on a barracuda now. I just saw him get my whatever I have on. I now might have a big barracuda on. He just let it go. The barracuda let it go. Oh, maybe not. Oh my. Oh, what is it? Big old grouper. Oh my. He's off. He's <laughs> off. That was a big grouper. Okay, look at the rod tip. You can see it really well in the clouds. It's getting bit. The hardest thing is to do is not pull on it while you're getting a bit. You got to wait for the fish to get hooked up here. So see that rod tip just bumping away? It's just about to get hooked. Either that or they're going to get my bait off of there. One or the other. Come on fish. Take a big bite. Come on, bend that rod. That's what we're waiting for. They're working at it. Must not be big enough. Something's gonna come along and eat it though. The little fish are working it. You can see that rod tip. Here it comes. They've stopped. That means a big grouper is either looking at it and scared all the other fish away, or they got my bait. Since I'm using my old mushy bait, I'm gonna bet they got my bait. Pull it up, pull back. Get him now. Arthur's got him. Good job. <laughs> Arthur's on. Oh, he come off. He come off? Yep. Or did the barracuda take him? No, nope, you got your hook. It wasn't the barracuda. Oh. You got him. Here he comes. 
coming up. Looks like a little grunt. It's a monster. It's a monster it's grunt. Monster grunt. <laughs> They're good eating though. All right, Joe just caught a nice mutton. Another Key Largo mutton. Too small. Yeah, he looks like he's 16 inches, so he's gonna get to go home. Nice looking fish though, Joe. Good job. All right, Jim just threw the net in. We're gonna see what he pulls up. He's got a little something. Not what I wanted. But we got a couple. Couple of ballyhoo. And I got somebody's line. So hard to wait for that rod to bend. I'm waiting. It's so hard. I'm waiting. You're doing I good. I got one hook. You, you let two of them go already. He's put the hook out. <laughs> I think y'all gave me a dull hook. <laughs> That's what Joe does. He, he's got a box full of sharp hooks, and with all his guests, he gives us dull hooks. All right, Arthur's on. All right. Little yellowtail. Oh, Arthur, hold the camera. Please, I got a nice fish. Okay. Ow. Jim's on. I got a monster yellowtail. He felt huge because I foul hooked him. <laughs> so Joe just said, put some squid on, see if there's yellowtail back there. I just caught a yellowtail on a piece of ballyhoo that's as big as he is. And you gotta keep them for bait? <laughs> no, they gotta be 12 inches. Not for bait. Yeah, for bait, they got to be 12 inches. Boom. All right, buddy, what you got there? Oh, nice. Yeah, but this one's a keeper. There we go. He's over 12 inches. Let's throw him in the live well in case we get out to 150 feet of water for a grouper. All right, there we go. Keeper, keeper yellowtail in the live well. We might turn him into a 50 or 60 pound grouper a little bit. Don't know what he's got. It's fighting like a yellowtail. Oh, there, there we go. Good grouper bait. Little 13 inch yellowtail. We're gonna put him right, right in the live well. You're on, Jim. I'm on. I'm Jim's on. on. I'm not on. He's not on. I still got bait though. Here, I'm gonna hit. Arthur's got him. Is he still on? He's off. Nah, he's on. He's on. All right, another another good grouper bait. 12 inch yellowtail. They're doubled up. There we go. Jim's got one, Joe's got one. All right, the yellowtail are back there. Joe's on. All right, another 12 inch yellowtail. There we go. Yellowtail are on fire. Joe's on. There we go. Probably another yellowtail. What you got, Joe? All right, another little 12 inch yellowtail. I think I might be hung up. I think you're hung up again. Huh? I think you're hung up. Uh. You'll be okay. It came out, right? Yeah. You got a fish on. I thought I saw it pop out of the reef.
You hooked the bottom again, Arthur? I don't think I'm in the bottom. You're not gaining on him. I'm waiting on him to give up. <laughs> think? Dang, look at that ugly stick bend. I think I've hooked up or hung up. Oh man, we just lost him. Got one on, Arthur? Yeah. All right. Go to the other corner of the boat. I, what's that? What? We got a dolphin on, folks. Arthur's got a dolphin on. It's taking him across every single one. They go under this one. All right, so Arthur's got a dolphin on. There he's jumped. All right, we just had a little dolphin on. He swam across four lines. We had the biggest mess in the world and he got off, so he got to go free. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you'd like. Got a fish on. We got a little chaos going, nice little dolphin. Little keeper dolphin coming to the boat. Joe's got him, he's back there in the water. In the line, Joe. Okay. Okay, we've got birds all around us. We've hooked up a couple of dolphins. We haven't put any in the boat. We keep getting tangled lines as they're getting in. So they're getting off. We're out here having fun. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Follow me, Cousin Jim. So what happened there, Arthur? I tied my lure straight to the mono, mono and it ripped right off. Tied it straight to the mono? Yeah, he broke it right off. Man. All right, if you liked what you saw today, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Here we go, we didn't catch a lot of fish today. So we're feeding bait to the snappers here. What's amazing is they will eat every one of these shrimp, but if you put a hook in a shrimp, they will not eat them. Look at those shrimp swimming away. That one might get away. Oh, he, he made a turn for the boat. Uh-oh. Is he going to get away? Uh-oh. He turned back in. He has a death wish. Let's watch that. Oh, somebody snapped at him. He got away. There he is. Swimming along the surface. I cannot believe. Oh, he made a wrong turn. He's headed back in. Maybe the snappers are getting full. 
They're just ignoring him. Yeah. That one jumped. You see him? Yep. I can't believe. There's one following him. They're going to eat his ass. He's going into deeper water. 